Thank you all so much for coming tonight. In this suburban living room, a frank conversation among women. I am a pro-choice Republican. Me too. There are a lot of women I know who are just like me. But you've got to get them out there to vote. Carol Whitmore is a lifelong Republican and laser focused on one issue this election, trying to persuade other conservative women to vote in favor of abortion rights in Florida. A lot of them are afraid that if you are support this issue, you uh, support the Democratic platform. Carol's group, Republican Women for Freedom and others like it, quietly using informal House parties to galvanize support for Amendment 4, a proposal that would change the state's constitution, undoing Florida's existing six-week abortion ban and restoring access up to roughly 24 weeks of pregnancy, the point of fetal viability. We want you to get the message out that nobody messes with our bodies. Florida, one of nearly a dozen states with abortion rights on the ballot this election, but the only one that requires a 60% supermajority to pass, meaning it needs bipartisan support. Alliances like Jane, a liberal, and her daughter Beth, a Republican. How important is this issue for you come November? Oh, very important. There are a lot of women like me that might be fiscally conservative, but believe a woman has a right to choose. Jane, at times, growing emotional. I fought all my life to get this going. And then it was settled, Roe versus Wade. Wow, yay. And now we're fighting all over again. Governor Ron DeSantis, who signed the six-week ban into law, still actively campaigning against the ballot amendment. You should vote no, and I don't care where you stand on these issues. Still, Carol is staying the course. Because for you, this is about health care, not politics. It's totally about health care. Trump will probably win my county, but on this issue, the women are going to speak up. Now, guys, recent polling from The New York Times showed 46 percent of likely voters reported that they would vote yes on this ballot measure for abortion, while 38 percent they would vote no and 16 percent said they didn't know or they didn't answer. But as with everything else in this election, it's going to come out to turn out and it needs a 60 percent majority. So that 46 percent is not going to do it for them. All right, Laura. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.